short answers. In English language, when something is to be said in an informal manner, short answers are the best way to answer the questions, especially if it is required that no detail has to be given, then short answers are the ideal manner to answer the questions. Most usual form of short answers are as follows. For example, yes, I am. This could be a short answer to a question in which it is being asked, are you happy? Yes, I am. There is no more detail required. In case there is an examination paper which is asking for short answers, then the time limit and the word limit is given. So it is better for the learners and the students to keep to the word limit and the time limit. In case something is being asked in detail, in spoken language or the written form, only then the details should be given. This is also an art of the language where we need to learn how to give short answers because these short answers are actually complete answers. Only if some explanation is required or details are asked for, only then the learners or the speakers need to answer the question in detail. It has been noticed in the interviews also that if short answers are given, they save the other person who is listening to the answer of any misunderstanding. Also, shorter answers are less susceptible to be wrong. It is mostly in longer answers that people can make mistakes. For example, are you nervous? No, I'm not. That is enough. Maybe if you carry on with the sentence and the answer, maybe you will tend to make mistake or actually become nervous because you are answering the question. So only if it is required to answer the question in detail, only then it should be answered in detail. Otherwise, the art of making short answers is also appreciated and given marks. Will, does he come to your school every day? Yes, he does. That could be the answer to the question whether somebody is coming to the school every day. So you don't need to pick up the language from the question and then answer. Sometimes in schools it has been noticed that the teachers, they try to teach the students by picking up language from the question. It is suggested that instead of doing that, it is better to, for the students to learn short answers instead of picking up words and language from the question. For example, in most of the schools, the teaching of English is done in this manner. What is your name? My name is Ali. So where do you live? I live in Lahore. So the language is being picked up from the question. There is no harm in picking up language, but this then leads to the practice of picking up language all the time from the questions. So the students, they tend to pick up language from the questions all the time to answer the question, which is not a very ideal thing to do. Instead, the teachers should train the students to give answers on their own and they can always start with a shorter answer and then continue with the long sentences if required. He did not go to the market, but he did. That could be a short answer for he did not go to the market, did he, but he did. So somebody is trying to tell that yes, he did go to the market. He did not take my pen, but he did. So the short answer is yes, he did. I like fish and the correspondence or adjacent answer to that would be so do I. That is not really a question. It is a statement to which a short answer is being given. I like to cycle. So do I. That means some adjacent 
सेंटेंसेस आर बीइंग यूज्ड इन ऑर्डर टू हैव एन इनफॉर्मल कन्वर्सेशन